and start to take it off. I am not running behind nobody for my jewelry. Because people just talk about obscene language is a curse. No, for somebody to watch you in your eye and tell you you will teeth till you're dead, that is a curse. The imbalance is too glaring because we are too happy. I don't know what tell Manning the recession would not reach Trinidad. You may doubt yourself. You may tell yourself this man different. You have to be a special type child to give a budget two weeks and then come back two weeks fucking later and tell me about tight. You be tightening. My nanny tight. My weave tight. If any woman in here doubt her pussy, put her HB pencil and hold it. It is tight. Ever so often I spot my pencil and do so it's not dropping. Either that or a ballpoint gel pen. At my age, it day. We'll get back to that shortly. When I finish the political side. No, you come back to tell me about tightening my, my, um, and when they ask him, Mr. PM, are you tightening uh, my, your, st what, your belt tight already, you don't drink alcohol? Alcohol is not a tight belt. It have some catch as alcoholics. It have a bunch of people I know drinking beer rum in Central. It have a grocery in Central putting beer rum to coal. <laughs> While you're laughing, I'm talking serious thing because when they shut down Karani Limited, most of the workers never get that lump sum of money, so they spend all. They drink it out. So now the only reprieve is bear up. Think to literally sap your knee, them having on ice. So alcoholism don't stem from tightening. When we run down, what our average citizen doing? Pathos. Something wrong. Because in years gone by, the past PMs had free security detail. The army and the police was protecting you, and they was getting a salary. You hire a private security firm that is costing us 14 million a year. And them telling me, trust the police. You ain't fucking trust them. <laughs> if I get robbed, I call in my cousins first. And then let somebody call the police. You ain't trust them. You ain't have them nowhere near you. And you want me to use 999? <laughs> when man ain't coming down the road, I don't, I watch me for spite. I don't come out the road. The outriders be doing me so. Lock me the fuck up. I want an excuse not to go to work. Well, you know I get locked up. Me don't blink. I'm not coming out the road. That's squeeze. I want them to stop me. Because then the, the entourage go out to slow down and I go draw down my glass. Manning! Your mother cut. <laughs> All you clap when I'm looking for people to bail me and I'm not calling you, eh? I say, no, when I see PM1, me don't move. I'm not moving and I tell myself in the longest while them old riders trying to kill him. You see how fast they be fucking driving? He lucky his kidney and not heart again. When them coming down the road, I say, but they are going to kill this man. He ain't need all of that. All he need is them community leaders. One in a car to drive in front of him. What you so afraid of? If you're doing things that right, the same Fidel Castro way he is. All the dictator he is, Castro has no security detail. He goes out alone for a long time. I personally feel it, nobody is seen for a while. Goes out normally, comes back in, sits a long, long time. What are you telling me? Slowly but surely, my democracy being broken. No. When I hear him walking into radio stations, I start to dress up in the morning. Because 6 o'clock in the morning when I have to get to work, and very rare am I there at 6, I'm letting you know. I reach 10 past, quarter past, I'm always with wonderful excuses. Oh, God, and I hope, may I? <coughs> oh, I call and say, well, you know, the car not starting. I went in the market, I run, I hit my foot, all kind of shit. 
As I hear Patos visiting, I started to reach with makeup early, early, half past five I day, in corset and sweater. I had to look good. As I know, he walk, he come in in radio station. Why you ain't come for me? My child will be 16 next year, so she could take care of herself a little bit and have good friends. Come for me. Look for an equal opponent. Somebody that worthy. That they afraid you. You get real rowly. Because he is the only person that could have stand up to your ass. And you think you get rid of rowly. But this race is not for the swift. This is who does endure to the end. Trinidad is a beautiful country. When I look at my people and I tell myself, my people, my people, and I am not one and I want to establish this as a talk race. I don't have time for it. When people start to talk with Price, you know, we have to stick together. Who is this fucking we? Who is this we? It doesn't have no we as in race with me because my body is confused. Look at it good. Confused. He ain't too sure what to do with himself. And my child was. Because she have my face with a Chinese father. So I have to be alive when my grandchildren born. To explain to the man if he's African, hey. She didn't know any. A father is a Chinese looking picture. He better do present himself. I have Indian grandparents from Mamoral. Love them all. Indian great grandparents. My great grandmother was Scottish. My grandmother married a white man from Barbados. My father black. My mother confused too. And it all come together well. People just ask why is where we if I take out this, they're shocked. They wouldn't know what to do with my hair. I don't put relax in my hair, you mad. The last time I relaxed my hair, I was like, oh God, girl, do something quick. So where, when you start to dissect society, where you put in me? And where you put in my child? When we start to talk races, then we look for division. When we start to talk religion, because me a religious, a spiritual. Me a religious, because me had time with that. I went and do a staff party for a, a, a ministry. I refused to call their name. My grandmother was a, one of the first black women to establish a church in the Caribbean. I come from good stock. She was the principal at the Martin Jr. So I kind of proud. My aunt after. I am literally the black sheep of the family because everybody read. But they're not nice like this. So they stout. So I grew up knowing God. I have an infinite relationship with my God. So, I'm doing the show, and they want to start, and they're waiting on the government minister. This happened last week. Nobody. Who's saying the prayer? Who's saying the prayer? I go say the prayer. Nobody. I can't pray. How the hell you could say you can't pray? I said, well, you want me to say the prayer? The prayer? A woman, older woman, mature woman, gasped. She went, ah, and watch me like shit. I looked down at my Eve St. Laurent beauty. It's not these. And I look back up. I say, you have a problem with me saying the prayer is starting? Yes, I'll pray. Because any of you take it, I get in pay. So go ahead and pray, darling. Let me start the show. I didn't say that. Because I have a deep respect for older women. I'm trying to get it out of me. But I grew up with my grandmother and my great-grandmother. So older women have a little spot in my guts. She started to pray. Thank you, Lord, for this gathering. There's a government ministry. It are Hindus, Muslims, any other race. Some Jehovah Witnesses get in. I tell myself, but wait. They do celebrate Christmas a hush. Because the pastel something was starting to come and I was stiffing piece of ham at the time too. I said, Price, it's a right to right now. And I said, let's pray, Price. It was a division. So she started. Thank you, Lord, for this gathering. Da 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 da. Things are going well. Um, all of us right now, we give our hearts up and prayer to the Prime Minister. I stop it. 